Our next guest is the best-selling author and a true gentleman. <laughs> He's also the go-to guru for navigating the minefield of modern dating. Thank the Lord. <laughs> Joining us now with dating tips for the holidays is the author of Gentlewoman, Inaton Bariola. Welcome. Right. Thank Welcome you for having me. I appreciate it. Thank you. Okay, so your book is called Gentlewoman, Etiquette for a Lady from a Gentleman. Yes. So what makes you qualify? Because a lot of ladies are asking okay. to give etiquette advice to the ladies. Well, if I had a million dollars and I offered it to you and a lady had a million dollars and she offered it to you, does the value change depending on who gives it or is it still worth a million dollars? No, I'll take no. it. I don't uh, care. Yes, right? So, so <laughs> in other words, it doesn't matter who the message is delivered through mm -hmm. as long as the message is received and delivered. And the guy that I was raised to be is just so happens to be qualified to give this message. I mean, I have access to, via social networking, thousands of women's voices who, you know, check me if I'm right or check me if mm -hmm. I'm wrong. I have wonderful women in my family. Uh, that I grew up, you know, who guided me in the right way. Okay. Now, you made a name for yourself with your first book, which was giving the gentleman's guide. Yes, Okay, yes. so why was it so necessary? Why did you feel it was time to do one for the ladies? Because women, are, they've just been so supportive of the project. You know, the first one, they supported it so much, even more so than the men, that I said, you know what, let me tailor something specific for them. And I took a risk. I didn't want to write it. I'll mm -hmm. be honest. I mean, it's a tough call for the same reason why you asked me the first question, you know, what makes you qualified? I was nervous that I'd have an attack of barrage of women just like, who does this guy think he is? Mm -hmm. But uh, somehow, some way, they've been receptive of it and it's, it's been doing very well. All right, so give us some advice. How can a woman become a gentlewoman? By reading the book. Okay, but <laughs> for those no, like, who are going to get honestly, it, don't have it yet. Honestly, it's, it's really about embracing who you are and mm. not attempting to look at these reality TV shows and listen to this music mm. and read these magazines and try to convert to somebody that you're not. It's really embracing your femininity, embracing who you are, whoever that is, whether you have tattoos, whether you wear high heels, mm. flats, weave, wigs, whatever, you know, embracing your, your, your beauty, accepting it, and stepping out in the world with that. Now, you, you, in the book, you spoke about the demise of femininity and class in contemporary society. Yes. What do you mean by this? What, what happened to femininity? I mean, turn on reality TV, where are the role models? You know, listen, not there. pop culture, mm -hmm. where are the role models? They're, they exist, but they're not at the forefront. They're not who these, these young ladies and these women desire to be. So that's, that needs to be, you know, brought back to the forefront. And uh, I mean, we just, I think the, the world and the society has just gone in a downward spiral. Mm -hmm. And this is like a breath of fresh air. And it's a reminder to women that if they are on the right path, you know, hey, you're doing it right. You know, and if you're not on the right path, this is a way that you can get on the right path, but you can still maintain your own identity, be comfortable with yourself, and be a gentlewoman. Yeah, and in the book, you speak to a lot of women who are getting it right, like Megan Good. Absolutely. You know, Michelle Williams, everyone from a congresswoman to a Playboy bunny. Yes, <laughs> yes. Yeah, a little bit of everybody in there. Yeah. So what was the most shocking thing you learned from these ladies? Uh, wow, shocking. Um, I wouldn't um, say shocking. Most revealing, maybe? Most revealing? Okay. Uh, I'd say Megan Good's story is just, it's just a beautiful story because mm -hmm. it's almost like redemption or retribution. You know, she used to live a lifestyle where maybe she partied a little bit and now, mm -hmm. you know, she's married to this pastor and, um, you know, she's doing well for herself. And it's kind of like, you know, the woman who may feel like it's too late, you know, that she may be living. Why are you looking at me? Uh, see, it's, I, not, <laughs> it's not too late today. I'm cockeyed, I got a laser. <laughs> So it's, it's a reminder to that woman that it's okay, you know, you still have an opportunity to, to, to develop, to be better, to progress. Mm. Okay. Okay, well listen, now you're known for giving excellent, great, advi mm. great dating advice. Yeah. So we Thank have, you. we're going to put your lovely rules yes. to the test. Now, we've got two coworkers here, Devin and Johnice, who are going to simulate that first date. Okay. And we want you to Don't take them cute. on a crash course <laughs> in dating etiquette. We need to fix their entire situation. Yeah, so they look great. They look okay. great. Well, first thing first, you know, what should you wear? Speaking of looking great, what should you wear on that first date? And how, what do you think of their looks? Yeah, I think it's great. You know, she has on a, a nice wrap dress and some mm -hmm. heels, and she accessorized. She has on some a nice cuff, gold cuff link by Maya. Uh -huh. Fashion underscore art on Instagram. Watch it. Uh, just in case you didn't know. <laughs> just in case. Watch out, Devin. She's showing some skin, but <laughs> not too much or just right? It's what? just right. You know, okay. it's, it's, it's sexy, it's, it's classy, and it shows her nice silhouette, her nice shape. The gentleman is adorned in a, job, a nice blazer with a tie. And if you're in a major city like New York or London, wherever you are, 
uh, loosen up the tie because you're generally going to go on a date after work. Oh. Loosen up your tie a little bit okay. as he's doing. But you don't think that's too sloppy? It's more about It's swag. not too sloppy. It's, it's, it I mean, he has on the jeans to contrast it, so okay. it shows that, you know, he, he can... He, it's like an after-work look. It's not mm -hmm. so stuffy and professional. It's, you Got know, it. let me loosen that up. Okay. So you can themselves. loosen up, have, okay. a, have a beverage. And you also talk about body language on Oh, date. body language is important. Now, how can we be sure that we're giving off the right signals? 55% mm -hmm. of communication is nonverbal. 38% is your tone, your pitch, and 7% is actual words. Really? Oh, yeah. So it's important. Oh. You, can, you can tell a lot by somebody before they even open their mouth. Okay, so wait, 55% is? Nonverbal. Nonverbal. 38% is your uh -huh. tone and your pitch, mm -hmm. and 7% is actual words. Oh. So... If he is interested in her, it's easy for a man. He's giving her <laughs> eye contact. He's smiling. He's attentive. He's listening to her. He's okay. laughing at her jokes. His cell phone, as you notice, is nowhere near the table. Well, is it ever wrong to put out the cell phone? Absolutely. I mean, like, some, people, key, key, some checking people want to... Checking the key in. Why are your kids sure on a date with you unless you're, 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 <laughs> unless you're married? Because I do suggest that when you're married, uh, you still do date your spouse. So, okay. I do, so, so wait, these, these are good tips for anybody at whatever absolutely. stage in their life they're in your book. Right, but you want to okay. take the, the cell phone away and be attentive to your date. You want to mm, give them that respect, right? I know some people take selfies and post the food on Instagram and all mm -hmm. this stuff, but save that for later. And mm -hmm. for the lady, if she is interested, she might play with her hair. She might Oh, they still do that type of thing? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yes, we do. She uh, might flirt okay. with her eyes, even uh, if it's a little subtle. She might uh -oh. smile with She's her smizing. eyes. She's smizing, okay. Smizing. <laughs> and she might even touch him if he tells a joke, you know? Uh, touch him where we can see. There we go. Yeah. Okay. And, and that's show those, her. Those, <laughs> are, the, those are subtle... <laughs> <laughs> Those are subtle ways. Those are subtle ways to tell if someone is interested. Okay. Now, what about fragrances? What uh, types oh. of perfumes and colognes? Mm. How much is too much? How do we know? Oh yeah, you don't want to put too much. Oh wow. <laughs> well, we actually have some here mm -hmm. that I brought uh, for the for the gentle woman. Uh, Reverence okay. is, a, is a, an affordable. I mean, that stuff smells like Oprah. And uh, what smells like Oprah? That, that Reverence smell. <laughs> is that good? I, I gave Oprah my book. I leaned in and I I got a whiff. Wow. She smelled. Yeah. This is. Yes. Yeah, so that smells like. If God had, like, if he had breath. <laughs> God's breath. God's breath mixed with Oprah. This is called reverent? Reverence. Okay, I definitely have to get some of that. Now. And this is God's breath. And this is Clive Christian. Okay. And uh, it's a little more on the pricey side, but mm -hmm. it smells kind of equivalent to Oprah and God's breath mixed. Wow. Wow. These are actually good gifts to also. Great to gifts. Get great gifts. someone in your life. Okay. Absolutely. Great gifts. No, wait. Sure. Do you bring, are, are we bringing gifts on the first date? How does this work? Bringing gifts on the first day? Can we do something? But sometimes when you go, you know, you, you progress in your relationship, you're yes. around the first holiday like this year. Yes. Or you're meeting the parents. You know, these are things you could take to meet the parents or give to your special someone. Maybe not the holiday. fragrances, but for sure this, this wonderful candle. You never want to okay. show up empty-handed. It's rude if yes. somebody invites you to their home, right? Right. Uh, we have some Junior's Cheesecake, which is a wonderful gift if you're in New York as well Ooh. that you can bring. A dessert mm -hmm. if you're not in That's New York. That's a good idea. A bottle of wine. Now, should you give, if you're meeting the parents for the first time, should you bring a bottle of wine because they don't want you, you know, they're like, is he a lush? Why is he bringing, you know? Well, it all is depends. I mean, I feel like the conversation, you should get to know the parents before you get to know the parents. So a conversation mm. with this, your significant other should occur. You know, are your parents drinkers? Do they like champagne? Do they like wine? That should be discussed to kind of get their taste. But a candle and dessert never hurts. Okay, so what's the most important thing a woman needs to do when she's trying to be a gentle woman? Be herself. Be yourself. Aww. Be yourself. That's good. Absolutely. But in order to, to be yourself, you have to know yourself. And mm -hmm. if you know yourself, you'll love yourself. So it's, okay. all, it's, it's all embedded and intertwined, but uh, that's the core of it all. All right. Thank Great you. advice. Great advice. Thank you so much. I feel so ready much. now. I know. I can, From you know, a gentleman. Have to leave Netflix alone. No, you're already go back there. out there. Go ahead, already gentlewoman. Yes. All right. And make sure you go <laughs> check out the book, Gentlewoman, wherever books are sold. And we'll be right back with more Rise Entertainment 360. Yeah.